my people, what's up? You know those Dosa Keys commercials? The most interesting man in the world. I love those commercials. Saw one the other day, and for some reason I started thinking, who's the most interesting man in sports? So I started running through the, the big names in sports. Started off with Tiger Woods. When Tiger Woods is in contention to win a golf tournament, the ratings are through the roof. This guy means more to his sport than any other athlete means to their sport. You know, if LeBron isn't in the finals and Kobe's there, the NBA is going to be fine. If Peyton Manning doesn't make it to the Super Bowl but Tom Brady does, NFL is going to be fine. Ratings were through the roof with Aaron Rodgers and Big Ben last year. So that's the way it works in other sports. Tiger means more to golf than anybody else means to their respective sport. That doesn't mean Tiger is the most interesting man in sports, though. Think about that. It means he's the most crucial player in his sport, not necessarily the most interesting in all of sports. So there's a difference right there. Now, you think about LeBron James. LeBron, the decision, all the backlash, he's a villain, all the intrigue, everything that was made of that. He does things on the basketball court that nobody else can do. Very compelling guy. Can make a strong case for LeBron. But I'd make my case. The most interesting man in sports, Michael Vick. Few reasons. Start off with him on the football field. Michael Vick does things that nobody else can do. The mixture of being able to throw and run as well as he does. Maybe there are quarterbacks who can throw like Vic, but can't run like him. There are quarterbacks who can run like Vic, they can't throw like him. Michael Vick has a blend that nobody else has. Now, you throw in off the field stuff. Michael Vick just signed a new endorsement deal with Fuse. Signed another one with Nike just the other week. I could just talk about this in a bar. People would say, who would want to be associated with Michael Vick? Why would that dogfighter be given a second chance to begin with? It's always going to go back to dogfighting. With LeBron, people were upset with the player. With Michael Vick, people are upset with the person. That drives interest. If Michael Vick leads the Eagles to the Super Bowl this year, the ratings will be absolutely ridiculous. You didn't have members of PETA picketing against LeBron James. You didn't have that. So the mixture of Vic on the field and the controversy that will always follow this guy, unfortunately off the field, makes him the most interesting man in sports. What do you guys say? Comment below. Who do you think it is? I'm Brian No. That's a no-brainer.